C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Hiss. A heart-wrenching pain caused Gu Ming to groan. His limbs and bones felt like they were being scratched by millions of ants, the thick smell of blood in the air made her frown uncomfortably, and the low pressure around her body made Gu Dian alert in his heart. A dignified descendant of the South Cloud Marshall School is only mediocre. He could faint with just a little bit of pain. Hua, a bucket of cold water was poured on his head. The sudden coldness made Gu Pingyan shiver. He suddenly opened his eyes and looked around at the unfamiliar surroundings. What? You're not faking your death. The man in the flirtatious red dress crouched down. His slender fingers pinched Gu Luyan's chin as he laughed arrogantly, Gu Luyan, you plotted to marry me. Isn't it too easy for you to die like this? Gu Luyan frowned as he looked at the man in front of him. His pair of black eyes, which were filled with coldness and sharpness, made the surrounding air feel even colder. He pursed his lips gently. Ji Yu Lu Yan was dazed for a moment as he looked around this unfamiliar room. What was the situation now? Wasn't she supposed to operate on the patient in the operating room? Did she lose her head from overwork? That's right, if a beautiful girl worked for more than 40 hours without rest, even an Iron Man would die of exhaustion. I will treat this bowl of heart blood as a greeting gift for one. Air. As he said this, he pulled out the dagger that had been stabbed into Gu Pingyan's chest. Bright red blood flowed out, and Gu Pingyan groaned in pain. Ji Yu Danyan had never been a pushover. Otherwise, he wouldn't have sat down as the chief physician at such a young age, grabbed the man's arm, and slapped him in the face while enduring the great pain. Bastard, are you sick? If you're sick, go and take your medicine. Why are you doing this to me? Which lunatic didn't open the door and let you out? You're looking to die. Duan Chengxian didn't expect the originally weak and delicate Gu Pingyan to actually dare hit him. She kicked Gu Mingyan away, and as if she didn't want to vent her anger, she went forward and kicked Gu Meiyan a few more times before stopping. Ji Yu Lu Yan bit her lips to prevent herself from letting out a painful cry. She felt that her internal organs were about to be kicked out. This man truly did not know how protective he was. Gu Lu Yan, you better not forget that you are just a guide for Wanner's treatment. Don't fail to appreciate my kindness. Carefully putting away the white porcelain bottle filled with his heart blood, he glanced at Gu Dai Yan, who was lying on the ground, disdainfully, and threw a bottle of medicine onto the table. He then ordered coldly, watch her carefully, don't let her die. Gu Lu Yan lay groggily on the ground. The wound on his chest was still bleeding. The room was so quiet that it made people panic looking at the closed door, Gu Ping Yan clenched his teeth and crawled onto the bed. The big red wedding dress on his body was so I dot catching. He sneered as he tore off the clothes that were in his way. Cold sweat flowed down his face due to the pain that he barely managed to bandage the wounds on his body as he lay on the bed. Gu Dai Yen stared blankly at the ceiling as he digested the unbelievable fact that he had no choice but to accept. She had crossed over, thinking about how that man had ruthlessly stabbed the original owner's heart just to get some bullsh asterisk T heart blood, causing the original owner's heart to rupture, as for why she took the original owner's body and why she came here, the reason was unknown since the moment he was born, he had been the eldest son of the Lingyun family, and was only fifteen years old when he was taken back to the prime minister's estate. All of this was because the original owner had reached the age to marry, so how could he possibly think that a mid-autumn festival would make the original owner fall in love with the youngest prince of war god, Duan Qinxian. Ji Yu Danyan felt a headache coming on as he complained in his heart about how many men the original owner had never seen. She didn't even want such a trash like Duan Qingxian to marry him, but now the original owner was rushing to marry him. However, this was nothing. What troubled everyone in Navy Tide Nation was that no one knew that Duan Qingxian had a junior sister from childhood, Su Yu Wan. The two of them had already decided to marry each other for a long time, and now that the previous owner had interfered, how could they not be jealous, however, Su Yu Wan was originally a sickly child. 
Duan Ching Xian was unable to treat her because of her frequent visits to famous doctors. There were even doctors who claimed that Su Yu Wan would not live past the age of 20. Just thinking of how Duan Ching Xian pierced the original owner's heart with a dagger on his wedding night just to save Su Yu Wan with her blood, humph. If heart blood could save people, then there wouldn't be so many patients dying from all sorts of diseases every year in the world. Heh. Foolish human. He's really stupid. Gu Danyan looked at the wound on his chest with a face full of mockery. As he thought about the grudges and grudges from his previous life, he suddenly felt his heart ache for the original owner. Don't worry, I will take back what they owe you little by little. I will not let you die in vain. He placed his hand on his chest and felt the weak aura of the original owner. He sighed and said, since I am here and used your identity and body, I will take revenge for you. You can go and rest in peace. Gu Poyan gradually calmed down. He lay on his bed and thought carefully. Since he wanted revenge, he had to consider it carefully. However, with his current appearance, it would be difficult for him to get revenge, but he was not in a hurry, Duan Ching Xian, so you want that we have a long time ahead of us. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.